and welcome to Bookends. I'm Val Atmanavage, and today we're going to talk about Frederick County Public Library's Summer Challenge kickoff. And along the way, we're going to talk to our Youth Services Coordinator at Frederick County Public Libraries, Janet Vogel, who will introduce us to all the new and wonderful programming that we have available for kids and people of all ages to participate this year. And this year, we're very excited also to introduce our partnership with Downtown Frederick Partnership. And here to talk about that is Caitlin McIntyre, who will talk about how we're going to kick off the program with their Levitt Amp music series. Our theme this year for the Summer Challenge is Get in the Game, and we're really excited to offer a lot of programs around gaming and sports and really giving everybody an opportunity to get involved and have lots of fun. And our program itself is all about gaming as well, so you'll see different um, activities that you can do that relate to sports and playing games and decorations in all of our branches that have a lot of game or sports elements. So Summer Challenge is a great program that is for everybody. It's for kids, teens, and adults. So the whole family can participate, um, but you don't have to have kids, you don't have to have a family. You can participate all on your own. It's really exciting to be able to offer this program. It's our second year that we have a program that includes adults, and we're really excited to have that component because it's wonderful for kids to see adults in their lives uh, reading and learning all summer long so that everybody is a lifelong learner. We have a number of goals that we hope to attain through Summer Challenge. The first one is the same one that we've had for a number of years, which is to decrease summer slide, which essentially means that kids and teens who end the school year at a certain level will maintain the same level when they go back to school. And that's one of the proven benefits of any summer reading program. Kids who read and learn all summer long maintain the same level of knowledge um, and are better prepared to go back to school in the fall. Our other goals are always to increase the number of people who participate in the program because, of course, we offer this to everybody in the entire community and also to increase the number of finishers that we have because that means more people are reading and learning all summer long. Last year we had a 70% increase in finishers, so we're really excited to see if we can continue that momentum and have even more people finish um, this year as we did last year because that really shows that the community is involved. So last year we added a really fun component to our program which we called Sidekicks and we're really excited to bring those back again this year and our Sidekicks are better than ever. We have more than 150 programs offered by our Sidekicks and of course what is a Sidekick? Sidekicks are local businesses or organizations who have stepped in to partner with us for the Summer Challenge to provide programs or to be what we're calling mission sites where people can go on out into the community and discover something new, whether it's a park, whether it's a business, whether it's a nonprofit space. So we're really excited. People can, can uh, go out, look for codes in their community. When they find those signs, they can enter them right there on the mobile website or they can uh, come on into the library and enter them on a computer that way. And that's how they can get codes and points for uh, earning more prizes for the summer reading program. So we're really excited about our sidekicks. Um, it's a new thing. It's something that's not been done in other counties, as far as we know, in the state or the country. So it's something unique for Frederick County and a great way to explore your community and get involved. We're really excited this year to partner with Downtown Frederick Partnership on the Levitt Amp Concert Series. It's a great partnership because it fits right in with uh, what the library likes to do, which is get out into the, into the community and provide opportunities for fun and learning. We are so excited about our partnership with the library. Um, they have done their Music on the Terrace series and it seemed to be um, run, have run its course, so they were looking for new opportunities as well. And again, the library really aligns with those same mission and goals of getting the community involved, making a family-friendly activity, um, and offering programming for, for children to come with their families and, and experience something really great. So the Leva Foundation um, is part of the Mortimer and Mimi Foundation, and they just have a love of music. So Levitt Amp is their way of sharing that across the country and making music um, available to all ages, all demographics, all income levels. All their concerts are free and totally available to anyone in the public who wants to come. So it's about breaking down barriers in communities through music um, and really bringing people together through music. So it's a really neat mission. We were fortunate enough to be one of 10 cities selected across the country to host the initial uh, Levitt Amp last year and then we're one of seven to be selected um, again this year. So we're really excited about that. 
So the 11 Amp Concert Series is going to be a Tuesday night series. Um, this year we actually added an opening act, so it'll be a longer concert. So the opener will perform from 5.30 to 6.30, um, and then the headliner will go on and perform from 7 to 8.30. And that series runs uh, Tuesday, June 21st through August 23rd. We have a different genre every week. So this year what we did, um, not only will you see a library table with activities each week at every concert throughout the summer, um, we're also going to use this as an opportunity to kick off our summer reading program. So on June 21st, which is the first Tuesday that school is out, um, we're going to have activities from 10 until 2 for all ages, everything from stories to giant bubbles to the Maryland Dairy Princess bringing her Play 60 activities to the bike doctor of Frederick uh, doing bike checkups and helmet checkups. So it's going to be a great time, lots of different activities for everybody to enjoy. And I almost forgot to mention Rita's Ice will be there giving away samples for the first few hundred people that are there. So we're super excited about that opportunity that wouldn't have happened without the Downtown Frederick Partnership and the Levitt Amp Concert Series. So we have that giving you some activities to do uh, in the morning through the afternoon and then you can stick around for the warm-up act and the concert and everything starts uh, in the evening at 5.30. So we're really excited to be able to uh, partner that way and offer something different that we wouldn't otherwise be able to do without the help of the partnership. We're really thankful for the support of our generous donors and sponsors for the Summer Challenge. Our library leader sponsors include the Frederick News Post, the Friends of Frederick County Public Library, Brewster's Ice Cream of Frederick, the Catoctin Wildlife Preserve and Zoo, the Frederick Keys, River and Trail Outfitters, and Pie Five Pizza in Frederick. Without all of our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to have a summer challenge. There's no app for the summer challenge. All you have to do is visit www.fcpl.org forward slash summer and then you can click on the big yellow button that says log in here and that will take you to our website um, where you can log your codes and keep track of all of your activities and the books that you read and all that comes together to get you uh, to finish the program. We're entered into many prize drawings. We're really excited about our prizes this year and it's all mobile friendly so you can do it on the go or you can do it from your computer or if you need help we're always happy to help you here at the library and we do also have a game board so if you uh, don't want to play online, you don't have to play online. We have game boards for all ages and we're really excited to be able to offer whatever is most comfortable for our community. Well that's our show this time. Thanks for joining us. I hope you've learned everything you wanted to know about our summer challenge at Frederick County Public Libraries and Downtown Frederick Partnership. So come out. We hope to see young, old, and everybody in between out reading with us this summer. Again, as always, for more information please visit us at fcpl.org and to learn more specifically about our summer challenge visit fcpl.org slash summer. See you in the library.